ladies and gentlemen, before we start the forum, and in order to avoid any disturbances during the presentation later, I would like you to I would like to ask you to change the mode of your gadget into silent. Thank you. The Honourable Mr. and Ms. Speakers, distinguished guests, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to welcome you all to this prestigious forum about online and physical learning, which is better, held by the Institute of Continuing Education and Professional Studies, ISAP. In this occasion, we shall have an outstanding presentation from our prominent speakers, whom I believe shall enrich our insight and knowledge regarding the seminar. Before the forum begin, allow me to introduce the presenters. Our first presenter is Miss Ain Shahira. How are you, Miss Ain Shahira? I'm fine, good. How about you, Miss Darina? Uh, I'm all good and I'm always good. All right, so uh, she is a social media analytics for TikTok application and she has eight years experience as a social media analyst. She's currently pursuing her studies as a part-time student for a master in media and communication from Nanyang Technology University, Singapore. She's graduated from Nanyang Technology University as well in Bachelor of Accountancy with minor, is with minor strategic communication. In addition, she also graduated from Sunway University uh, in master in psychology. So, I would say that's a great achievement. That's I, I guess that's what we call with beauty with brain. All right, so we move on to our second presenter. Uh, here it comes, um, Mr. Freaky. How are you, Mr. Freaky? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm good, as you can see. So, Mr. Freaky is currently a lecturer and a coordinator for English language course in UITM Sha'alam. And he has more than he has ten years of experience as an educator. He's graduated in in degree in applied language study, English language for professional communication. He has master in English education studies from Buffalo University, New York, USA. And lastly, he is the Malaysia's representative at International Stuttering Association and. For your information, I never knew the OC association uh, as this before, and it's kind of eye opening for me to have our speakers today with great backgrounds and amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. All right, without further ado, all right, without further ado, I would like to welcome our first presenter, and she will deliver a forum entitled "Online and Physical Learning: Which is Better?" So, Miss Ain. In your point of view, what is the best studies delivery to the student, especially after the COVID-19 takes place in the, the in the whole wide world? So please welcome, Ms. Ayn. Thank you to our panel, Ms. Darina. Uh, allow me to point out my point of view. First, my point of view is reduce cost. Innovation in technology have forever altered by education is provided. Actually, online learning have developed into a versatile teaching method that allows students to convenient, convenient access study material from the comfort uh, or from their homes. Online learning also offer a great alternative for students who are unable to enroll in physical learning and allow them the freedom to study at their own pace. Education can be costly, but yeah, there is a very severe method for students to save money with virtual learnings. You can save money on transportation and you don't have to uh, commit to college. The typical students spend over a thousand ringgit Malaysian on books and course material each year uh, because, uh, because virtual uh, resources are frequently used in coursework. Less uh, less money is spent on textbook. Cost saving can be huge advantage of online classes among all of these uh, type of financial saving. Let's take example from my current experience. As all of you know, I am a part-time student. Online class really, really reduce the cost of references sources. And most of the lecturers will suggest to use uh, ebook, which is more cheaper. The second experience can be taken from my uh, from my experience is I don't have to go back and forth from Johor and to Malaysia for attending my lectures. Uh, 
And uh, my point of view is being supported by Clevers. He states that that school frequently face the challenge of expanding opportunities for students while being faced with a declining budget year after year. And my second, uh, uh, my second supporting uh, point, of, point of view is from X Medova. Additionally, online learning is reduced financial costs. Online education is far more affordable as compared to physical learning. This is because online learning eliminates the cost point of student transportation, student meal, student meals, and most uh, and student meals. Additionally. All of the course uh, or stu study materials are available online, and it, which is more affordable, which uh, also are beneficial to the environment. All right, thank you, Ms. Ayn. That's a great point, by the way, and I do agree as well that somehow online learning can reduce some costs, and the objective practice are auto market with. Uh, answers provided and this save times manually to mark the question. So what do you say, uh, Mr. Fikir, about uh, this issue? Uh, thank you, Darila. Uh, Ms. Ain, I can see where you are coming from, but with all due respect, I don't fully agree with you. Uh, looking back to your uh, agreement, I have three things to say here. Okay, the first one is, let's be honest, Online education is not free. It still needs a lot, uh, sorry, it still needs a considerable amount of investment. Okay, uh, for, uh, for us to take on uh, online classes, first, uh, first we have to have uh, gadgets. Okay, preferably a computer, whether it's a laptop or a, or a desktop. Okay, then we also need uh, some accessories. Okay, we, have, we need to have a webcam, or good quality uh, speaker or microphone. And also the most important is uh, network coverage. Okay. okay, because if we don't have access to internet, then online education is not possible. And the education fee does not differ much from traditional education. Okay, uh, number two, uh, not all study materials can be uh, easily accessible online. Uh, we still need to purchase or subscribe to some uh, portal or some uh, universities. We have to pay to get their journals or articles or your research. But uh, for physical uh, education students, uh, whether it's on campus or in schools, accessibility to educa educational materials are more readily available. Okay, According to uh, JMC Academy uh, in an article, uh, title online versus uh, campus uh, on campus learning is stated that contrary to common assumption many online courses are comparable to their on campus counterparts in terms of cost the materials and the certificate that follows are what you pay for although on campus activities can be more expensive you will have access to all the campus amenities and services okay that means online classes students are missing on the uh, conveniences provided by the uh, traditional on-campus learning, such as library. Okay, library is the main source of uh, information and also reference. You can access it for free if you are on-campus students. And number three, uh, last, uh, last, uh, lastly, number three, many education institutions, especially public schools and or public universities, offer financial aids. Uh, according to Krakow, uh, 2019, one of the main advantages of traditional uh, education is that many institutions provide institutional financial aid, uh, which can significantly reduce the students' out-of-pocket costs. This indicates that the amount that students are required to pay is far less than the stated sticker price. Uh, having said all this, uh, I believe that in terms of cost, online learning does not deviate much from physical learning settings. Instead, online learning students are missing out on the benefit and on the benefits that physical learning has to offer. Okay, back to you, Miss Darina. Thank you, uh, Mr. Freaky, for your argument. Somehow I agree with you too, since I've been in both types of learning and the things that I experienced myself were learning in this sense that I need to purchase for higher price of mobile data to just get a better connection 
uh, internet connection. All right, uh, we move on to Mr. Freaky, uh, Freaky uh, again. Uh, can you please elaborate more on how a physical class develop more conducive environment to the student? So the stage is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, before I get to my argument, uh, let's first put things into perspective. Let's ask ourselves a few questions. Do the current educational system and technological availability allow us to do highly effective and efficient online learning? I believe the answer is no. So the need for traditional face-to-face -face education is still the number one priority. This is because one, physical classes develops more conducive environment for teaching and learning. Number two, teachers can take corrective measures instantly. And number three, face-to-face -face environments allow for easier dis disciplining. disciplining. Uh, according to Odayas, 2016, students from uh, students form bonds with one another in this setting, in this physical class, which resembles a family, where they are also receive uh, the teacher's instruction and directions. Another benefit is that students can ask questions directly to the teacher and also among themselves, as well as exchanging ideas. This is how the typical learning mechanism works. In addition, Erstad also uh, claimed that uh, regular face-to-face -face interactions with instructors and the organized schedule of attending class a few times a week can keep students on task. Traditional on-campus environment provides students with more opportunity, opportunity to be reminded of future assignments, which can be beneficial if you have a tendency to put off big, uh, to put off big time-consuming assignments. Okay, moving on uh, to my fourth point is uh, two-way communication is guaranteed in these settings. And also students can get deeper understanding, uh, which uh, was stated by JMC Academy, uh, according to a research, those who rely on lecture videos only acquire surface material, uh, or in, in another word, basic knowledge of said concept, uh, of said topic. Whereas live lectures are better for deep learning. Uh, which helps in better understanding and also linking concepts. And from this uh, elaborations, I believe we can come to an agreement that due to our current educational system, uh, sorry, educational and technological climate, physical learning is the most suitable. Okay, back to you, Ms. Tarina. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Frickley, for your elaboration. So I believe that not every student can commit to one thing yet to see, to be disciplined as a, a crucial part. But many studies how uh, somehow shows that through physical classroom, students can tend to be more disciplined as they stick to so-called routine. And self-discipline is a must for every student to be a good learner, right? So can we please go to Ms. Ayn to give some argument regarding the issue. The stage is yours, Ms. Ayn. Thank you, Mr. Friki. Allow me to give uh, my statement according to your opinion. Study according to your style. Although there is some disagreement in the academic, uh, academic community over learning style, there is no deny that people absorb knowledge in a different way. Some people enjoy hearing information. They process uh, more data e efficiently and recall knowledge for a longer period of this time uh, uh, of time with this kind of method. Visual learners enjoy graph, uh, film, pictures, and other visible materials. They respond. They respond to visual cues that help their brain solve issues and learn the new things. Some students uh, learn best through e-learning gamification. Whatever learning style you like, there is, there is an online course to satisfy you. Visual learner, for example, uh, may wish to explore a course that involves a lot of video and graphic data re uh, rep representation. If you learn best by hearing, look forward for a course that contains audio recording and podcasts. My second statement for uh, this point of view is build discipline and accountability. Online courses can also help with personal development. As you work through online course, you learn to 
hold yourself accountable. You are completing a goals because you want to gain uh, some benefit. You are responsible for your success. Uh, this is supported by Ex Mirova. He states that every student has a different learning journey and a different learning styles. Some students are visual learners, while some students prefer to learn through audio. Similarly, some students strive, strive, thrive in the classroom, and other students are solo learners who, who easily get distracted by large group. My second supporting detail, uh, my supporting article is by Grout. This allows students to develop their personal skill while being able to add a novel certification to their resume in order to distinguish themselves in the job market. This uh, example may include certification obtained from the Google Academic or other industry relevant uh, education program. This is my point of view. All right, thank you so much, uh, Miss Ayn, for your points. And I believe that one of the biggest benefits of e-learning is to remove the needs of for the student to come in together to a physical class. And all you need is just a small space, a laptop, and a webcam. And with everything online, there is no need for you to commute to the location of your class, right? And all, all you need is just to turn your computers on. And there's a... Uh, there's a an example I can give. I can give, which is in Switzerland, for example, they can give a lecture to a student in Singapore, and that's not only make things are more convenient for the student, but also uh, means a lot on the career prospect of themselves. All right, we move on to the second part, and for Mr. Friki, how can a physical learning, or we can say face to face class? and learning can improve in such skill that has lacking among the students nowadays, especially when the COVID-19 outbreak occurred. Please welcome. Thank you, Darina. Uh, according to Rispoli, uh, he stated that conversation that starts so naturally in real classrooms are uh, frequently much more difficult to uh, initiate in an online setting. Okay, uh, these conversations may not seem much, but this frequent and naturally initiated conversations allow for better social scheme, uh, sorry, better social skills development. Okay, when we are communicating, it's not just about what we speak, uh, what we hear. Also, we can uh, we can also judge people's expressions or body language, and then we can we can de determine whether that person is paying attention or having a problem, or is is he interested or not in hearing us? Okay. Uh, also, face-to-face -face learning ensure more efficient interactions. This is because uh, in online, uh, sorry, in a physical settings, we can uh, we can give uh, sorry, maybe we can give a questions. We can ask uh, our our lecturer, our teachers, or our uh, friends certain questions, and the reply will be instant. That means it is it is efficient. We don't have to wait. Uh, we don't have to wait uh, some time for the for the reply. Okay. Uh, additionally, online uh, sorry physical classes allow for more instant and constructive communications. According to Rispoli, people who share the same goal as the students are all around them in the same space. They converse with one another and work together to achieve a common objective. Uh, <clears throat> they interact with the teacher. Uh, a lot is said but even more is stated by body language. For example, a teacher's harsh look can cause a student to think twice or they do something stupid. Or a student lost look might in indicate to the instructor that the student might need a little help or a little assistance with the task. Last but not least, face-to-face -face classes uh, can provide with a real-life experience. Okay. Real-life experience is uh, important for because later in career after we done with our studying we will have to interact with the surrounding people and this often occurs in face-to-face -face settings having had uh, this experience uh, earlier during school days will, will greatly help us later in work therefore it is clear that uh, to have better and more developed social skills online learning is not the best option to take so that's all for me
Thank you, Mr. Fricky. And I want to add some more that learning process was so significant to a physical class, which it allows a uh, student and teachers to interact to face to face where it alludes the, to a class setup, which everyone can interact and speak to one another. Uh, furthermore, our main competence in the physical classroom encourage a student to be positive and focused in their study, as we all know, and also aids in the reduction of distraction for the student due to the fact that they are surrounded by an academic environment. So what would you, uh, what would you say, uh, Ms. Ayn, to this issue? Please welcome. Thank you, Mr. Frikiri. With a due of respect, please let me allow, uh, let me point out my point of view regarding your opinion. More opportunities of interaction. College and university may appear to be a social gathering place, but they are really foster insulation. On the campus, you are surrounded by the same individual every day, so there are no many chance to make a new people. One of the most significant advantage of online education is the internet borderless, borderless nature. You can meet people from all around the world by taking an online course. As you explore your knowledge and learn new abilities, each context provides more opportunity for deep and growth. You might connect with people you meet through social media or even in a person. You can connect with fellow students and your instructor in a real time if your course contain live webinar and live stream video. Through, vi through virtual, uh, virtual group, group work and meeting, online students have more opportunities to collaborate with classmates. One of the advantages of online class is the availabilities of message boards and grouping tool that allow students to submit input on reading and other tasks as well as respond to the to the classmate or other people. Despite popular opinion, students and teachers communicate in online education. Online classes allow students to communicate with their teachers at any time and from any location. In online classes, two-way two two way connection, uh, two-way contact is also possible. Uh, my uh, point is supported by Apana. He stated that in online classroom, students can log onto the web and access lessons, whatever it is convenient to them. Online classes get an immediate discussion going. Students may feel the need for more immediate response to the question or submission. My second uh, point, my second predicted uh, Evidence is uh, from Hasmatul Terin. Online forum according, typical use tweets, uh, structures to link related notes, allow students to follow, multiply, discussion occurring at the same time. With this intention, also highlighted the benefit of online compared to face-to-face -face courses, including time independent access opportunities uh, for highest for highest level of peer interaction uh, and to support for multiply learning style. Back to you, Ms. Darina. Thank you, Ms. Ayn. I do see that there is a positive correlation between students who are more comfortable with virtual learning platform and rating of the uh, online learning experience. And as for teacher, teaching on platform may be familiar to the student and it may yield a better result, all right? So we move on to Ms. Ayn again. For her second point, what would you say about uh, the flexibility of an online class that people have mentioned around? Can you please give some comment towards the issue, please? Yes, uh, thank you, Ms. Darina. Uh, my point is flexibility. Among the many advantages of online learning, Virtual classes are ideal for people who want to further their education while working. It can be challenging to handle a course lot in addition to your work commitment. If you are currently employed and classes are not accessible after your working hours. In addition to saving money, not having to commute save time because you won't have to drive to and from universities. That extra time you can be spent uh, for your works or your families. All you need is a digital device and internet connection to access the tools and need to enhance your education and achieve 
your degree on your own schedule. Uh, sorry. Why the flexibility to complete assignment at the time that is most suitable for the uh, to the student? One of the benefit of online learning, the student must still manage their time properly to ensure they complete their assignment by the deadline that have been set. As a result, students not only learn from their coursework, but they also improve their time management abilities. Imagine this: a single mother who babysitter cancel at the last minute would be out of luck with traditional education. She can still attend class while knowing a child is in care for and is it any uh, thanks to the online online learning. My supporting detail is online learning can potential sustain program that have been struggled for, for available numbers in the campus version. Uh, college was be able to sustain a program that had been struggling in campus mode. And this is a, uh, this article is uh, by Apana. My second supporting details is from Glibbets. A study conducted by Dana Thompson during 2008 until 2009 academic year produced qualitative findings that emphasized the significance and appeals of flexibility and expanded opportunity for students enrolled in online course. I can take classes that my class doesn't offer and I can work when I have free time, uh, a free time when I have a homework look in my school classes. This is my point of view. Back to you, Ms. Karina. Thank you so much for your briefing, Ms. Ayn. And I, I do see that the way of our children are learning is changing with the new technology and everything going digital. It is part of growing uh, international movement that focuses on the skill required for students to master in preparation for success in rapidly changing digital society. What would you say, Mr. Freaky, about the keys? Please welcome. Uh, I agree with uh, Ms. Ayn. Uh, that online learning has more to offer in terms of flexibility. But uh, flexibility is a two-edged sword. I have no, I have no objection that uh, having the opportunity, having the chance to dictate your own uh, academical journey is a great advantage. But it, is all, it also comes with its downsides. This is because uh, lack of supervision is causing learning from home students to be easily distracted, okay? Uh, and also the absence of colleagues can affect one's motivations. And also time management and heavy workloads are also an issue. Uh, this is stated by JMC Academy that on-campus learning means uh, you will have minimal distractions around you, be able to participate in discussions, and have an uh, industry professionals, that means your lecturer, uh, your teacher, your tutor, standing right in front of you. Uh, this is further enhanced by Casita.com, which stated that online learners lack a set routine and, a cons and are constantly sidetracked by a variety of responsibilities uh, because uh, most uh, part-time students uh, uh, already have uh, full-time jobs. Uh, this increase their their work their, their workloads their responsibility, and because uh, online classes allow for safe uh, self pass self pass learning, some students may not have a clear schedule and fall to the procrastination tendency. Okay, thank you a lot, Mr. Fikri. So we are uh, going fast. All right. So I believe that uh, you might you might have some conclusion that can be made. So what if you go first, Miss Ayn Shaira? Thank you. So for the conclusion from my point of view about our foreign piece, online courses are a wonderful approach for students to increase their education, education possibility while remaining competitive in the ever-changing education landscape. Student pursue High, higher education via online coursework must be self-motivated, independent, and responsible learner. Understanding one learning style and talent will help students access whatever online learning is right for them. 
understanding the features of a course that promote student understanding and participation will also uh, add a course planning. Communication in terms of support, supportive comments, constructive crit criticism, and prompt, and prompt feedback. Online courses really he heavily on communication between teachers and students. Overall, online learning environment enable learning to take a place to take a place in a setting that is not uh, constrained by a location or a time. Online learning has the potential to develop personal growing and success. Back to you. All right, thank you so much for your conclusion. And I do believe that Mr. Fricky has his own conclusion. So can you conclude can you conclude on something, please? Thank you, Darina. Uh, on top of our uh, what we already covered today, the academical down uh, the academical workload has to be completed between uh, online and physical students remain the same. Both had examinations, papers, presentation, presentation, assignments, and projects. Each of these comes with a deadline that uh, learners that students must meet while also doing readings and attending scheduled lectures or classes. However, each choice is uh, more suitable for specific instances. Uh, there is a way that uh, we can get the both uh, the best of both worlds that uh, I believe it is called blended learning. But I think uh, we need another we need another another uh, another uh, another discussion, another forum to be discussed about this. So moving on. Um, but that is, uh, for me, in our uh, current educational climate and technological availability, this physical learning is still the best option to choose. That is for me. Yeah, thank you so much to Mr. Fricky for his conclusion. So what I can conclude over here is that students actually prefer blended learning because because it allows them to retain elements that they can appreciate from both online and offline classes. And it's also maintaining, maintaining the flexibility and comfort of online classes while being able to occasionally interact with friends and teachers. Apart from that, some teachers may lack essential online qualities and through years of experience in teaching, most teachers and, and lecturers are set on a specific way of the of teaching and unfortunately they always do not always work in the virtual setting and it may be hard for some teacher and lecturer to grasp on the technology to, to conduct a cohesive online learning process but in the end they must put extra work to give clearer and detailed instruction for every submission or even better attend and they have to attend to every student who has who is having trouble with adapting. So I guess that is all from uh, the forum. And as far as Mr. Fricky and Ms. Aisha Yira has uh, proposed and elaborated their points, I guess that is all for the forum today. And I want to say thank you for attend this forum today. Thank you so much, and everyone. Thank you also. All right. and, and thank you for being our, our speakers today. And I really hope to see you guys next time. Who knows in a further uh, forum uh, related to the same topic or maybe uh, a different topic, it may be. So I guess that is the end of the forum. And thank you for attending so once, again, once again. And see you next time, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, everyone.